Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today we are talking about Barbie. Now Barbie has had many many different careers. She's been a doctor, she's been an astronaut, she's been a princess, she's been a fairy, she's been a mermaid. But today we are focusing on Barbie's career in music. Now, Barbie has dabbled in basically every single different music genre known to man. She's reinvented herself more times than Madonna and Miley and Beyonce combined. She's had so many different looks, so many different singles, and today we're going to look through every single different time Barbie has been a pop star or a rock star or any other kind of singing career in the music industry and also look at some of her discography. I made a whole video about Barbie's other careers, if you want to watch that I'll put a link in the description or on the screen somewhere. But anyway, let's look at Barbie's music evolution. Now the first time Barbie was a singer, she was a lounge singer in the 1960s wearing this incredible black sparkly dress, very sophisticated, with the very 60s looking mic, it's giving Elvis, I love it. And this was also around the time Barbie brought out her first ever record. And I listened to some of it and it's so adorable. Some of the songs are really nice. It sounds a lot like classic Disney, you know, like Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty. And the record actually begins with Barbie talking directly to the listener, which is kind of, kind of creepy, but also kind of cute. It's giving like 1960s ASMR. Hello, I'm Barbie. Thanks for inviting me in. You and I have so many things to talk about. That bit I found a bit you weird, know, where she's like, thanks for inviting me in. Dance, have my very first date, wear my first formal and have a whole wardrobe of pretty clothes. Every girl loves to think about these things. I'm sure you do too. I mean, the music and the voiceover definitely aren't breaking any gender stereotypes, that's for sure. But it's very twee, it's very cute. The record included six different songs and also the classic Barbie jingle, but this time extended into a full three minute song. Barbie, you're beautiful. You're just my style. Adorable. Barbie sadly wouldn't sing again until 1971 when the live action Barbie came out, which was a Barbie that could like move and dance. And this Barbie doll also came with a microphone, so I believe that implies that she was a singer or part of a band. And here you can see her with her band. They look so 70s. I love it. I love the psychedelic pa patterns. I wish they would, like, do a reproduction of this doll. I really want to get her. Barbie has become such a great reflection of current fashion trends and music trends for whatever time period she's in. And in 1971, once again, she brought out a record. It sounds a lot more kind of Beatles inspired and I thoroughly enjoyed. Okay, the next time Barbie decided to venture back into the music industry was in 1986, with probably her most iconic persona as a pop star or a rock star in the line Barbie and the Rockers. This line was notorious for trying to steal market percentage from Gem and the Holograms, but I mean, what an amazing 80s icon Barbie and the Rockers really is. This whole line is so 80s, so glam rock, massive hair, big shoulder pads, loads of makeup, and of course they brought out a cassette to go along with this doll line with a whole bunch of covers, but also some original songs, including this song. I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I feel like the tempo gets faster and faster and faster with every single Barbie release. After the success of Barbie and the Rockers, in 1987, Barbie brought out Barbie and the Sensations, which was a bit more of like a doo-wop band with like a 1950s style. Apparently 50s nostalgia was really big in the 80s, so this makes a lot of sense. As you can see in this image, each doll came with a cassette. That song I quite liked, it was a little bit more basic than the other ones I would say, quite slow, kind of boring, but you know, a fun song still, and that was called Everybody's Dancing. In 1989, there was also this Barbie Rockstar doll, which was only released in Brazil. But again, the 80s style is very strong in this one. 
There's a lot of neon, there's a lot of lycra. Okay, in 1990, Barbie brought out two lines which were kind of music-centric. One of them was Barbie and the Beat, obviously following on from the, like, Barbie and the... Barbie and the dot 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 convention that they've kind of had a lot of success with. And I love these dolls. You can see them here on the top row. I love them. There's loads of glitter, loads of denim. They're very 90s. They all come with guitars and, of course, a cassette. And also in 1990, Barbie brought out a line called Light and Lace Barbie, which, oh my goodness, that is such an early 90s name for a line. And these dolls are incredibly early 90s. You can see them on the bottom row here. They're dressed entirely in neon-coloured lace, and they have massive, chunky, light-up belts. And Barbie also brought out a cassette around this time called Barbie The Look Cassette. It was mostly filled with covers of popular songs at the time, including this song, which I'm not sure if this is a cover or not. I've never heard it before, but I actually quite like this song. It's so 90s. It's actually kind of giving me, like, watered-down Janet Jackson vibes. I love it. Next up, in 1992, Barbie decided to try her hand in the rap and hip-hop genre when she brought out Rappin' Rockin' Barbie. I actually own this doll, and I love her for how, like, just campy and amazing she is. And this doll even came with a massive pink boombox, and when you clicked it, it would play, like, some beats that Barbie could rap along to. <laughs> so funny. I absolutely live for this doll. She's so of its time. This outfit kind of gives me Dwayne The Rock Johnson vibes. <laughs> Next up, in 1994, Barbie became a country and western star. And this doll was exclusive to Walmart. And oh my goodness, I love this. Obviously, it's kind of giving like old school Dolly Parton vibes. I love the big skirt. I actually really want this doll. I'm going to find a way to get this doll. And she's got awesome cowboy boots. Love. In 1997, Barbie performed at the Grand Ole Op Opry. Country Rose Barbie. So this is like a country music event, I believe. I don't actually really know what this is. But I've heard it mentioned before in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> this is such a cool outfit. Next up, in 1998, Barbie performed once again in a band. This band was called Beyond Pink. As you can see, like, style and music taste evolved a lot during the 90s. This is completely different to where we started off. She also once again performed at the Grand Ole Opry in this, like, collector's edition doll, and I absolutely love this doll. But anyway, back to Beyond Pink. They also brought out a Beyond Pink album, yes, and this one came on cassette, which came packaged with the doll, as you can see there. And I think you could also buy it on CD. And we are going to listen to one of the songs now. It's called Think Pink, a great title for a Barbie song, if you ask me. A lot of this music tends to be derivative of, like, popular artists of the time, and that one was really giving me, like, Hanson or Bewitched vibes. You know, those songs were really popular at the time. Very poppy, but still, you know, super catchy. In 2001, Barbie became part of a band yet again. This doll line was called Jam and Glam, and oh my goodness, I love these outfits. I actually have the Barbie and the Christie from this line, and I love them. Again, very glam rock, I love the shiny trousers, I love the big puffy kind of coat things, and these dolls had wigs. Well, basically you could like spin their head around, <laughs> and there would be like different coloured hair on the other side. Barbie was still bringing out CDs around this time, but most of them were just compilations of popular songs, um, no original music unfortunately. In 2002, Barbie brought out a doll called Pop Sensation Barbie, and she could really dance on her dance stand. She'd like swivel like this. Kind of very similar to the live action Barbie. This kind of gimmick would reappear quite a few times actually. I think the Beyond Pink dolls also danced. This one's quite an obscure doll. Barbie also brought out a Barbie Rockstar doll in 2004. And I thought it came with a CD for a second, but it just comes with a CD case. 
This time, Barbie's kind of going towards a more Avril Lavigne, like, punky, grunge rock kind of look. I remember being obsessed with Avril Lavigne in 2004, so this makes a lot of sense. In 2006, Barbie brought out a doll called Chat Diva, and she had, like, a rubbery face and, like, would talk and sing, and she came with a microphone. Now, I'm not really sure if you could really consider her a pop star, She's more of like a karaoke singer. <laughs> and you could plug your iPod into her karaoke machine, which I thought was quite cool. And there's a picture here of like a very retro looking iPod Nano. It's also interesting to see through these dolls how audiences have consumed music in different ways over the decades. Like first we had records, then they moved to cassettes, then they had CDs. And now they're encouraging people to like plug in their iPods. But I have to say, I really hate this doll's outfit. It's so gross. This was a collector's edition doll, but in 2007, Barbie brought out a doll called Jazz Baby, and she was obviously a jazz singer. As you can see, in 2008, Barbie brought out a line of dolls which were called Barbie Fashionista in the Spotlight dolls, and they are definitely influenced by Katy Perry and other pop icons of the time, like Nicki Minaj and stuff like that. They've got colourful hair, they had lighting up clothing, and they could also sing, but they just sung, like, the kind of Barbie jingle at the time. It wasn't, like, a proper song, really. In 2010, as part of the Careers line, Barbie brought out a rock star doll. This one, again, kind of reverted back to a slight, slightly more rock-inspired look. But, you know, she still has a lot of pink. She has pink streaks in her hair. These horrible, horrible, like, arm warmers. I hate those. In 2011, they brought out this two-pack, um, Rockstar two-pack. Really cute, these are nice dolls, nothing really exciting about them. I don't understand why their boots are so chunky, but yeah, maybe that was just the style at the time. In 2012, Barbie brought out this Rockstar doll, again, part of the kind of careers line, I think. And she has, like, big, chunky studded headphones on with the little Britney mic. And she has colourful leggings, which was also quite popular at the time. I wish Barbie had brought out more music around this time. I think most of the music Barbie was bringing out was connected to the Barbie films, and less connected to the doll itself. Although, they did bring out a single with Fifth Harmony around this time, but that was more kind of like a Barbie-inspired Fifth Harmony song, instead of like a song by Barbie, if that makes sense. Also in 2012, we had Barbie, Princess and the Pop Star, which was one of the Barbie movies, which obviously focused on Barbie as a pop star. And this doll line and film also had music and an album which came out, but we're not going to listen to the songs now because I'm sure I'll get copyright claimed for them. And also I feel like the Barbie movie music could probably be its own video. So if you want that video, let me know. In 2013, Barbie brought out these two pop star, rock star, musician dolls. And I really like the first one, the one in pink. I think she's really cool. The second one, you can definitely see a drop in quality begin to happen. All the articulation is gone. 2013 was a dark time for Barbie. In 2015, again, as part of another Barbie movie franchise, Barbie brought out a line of dolls called Barbie Rock and Royal Dolls. This film was very, very similar to Barbie Princess and the Pop Star. But anyway, here she is again as a pop star. And again, these dolls sang, they had music, they had a whole album which came out to coincide with the movie. In 2016, again, as part of the careers line, Barbie was a rock star. She's got this kind of like pleather skirt on and I mean, this doll's quite cute, quite basic. Also in 2016, as part of the Made to Move line, Barbie brought out this doll, which is a pop star, but also a doctor and a footballer. And I actually have this doll, and I have to say, I do really like her. She's, she's got great articulation, obviously, because she's part of the Made to Move line. And I love her, like, very pink, classic Barbie dress. Really cute. Also in 2016, Barbie brought out these two musician dolls. This is a kind of more, like, accurate, realistic depiction of what a musician is. You know, she's here, sat in front of her keyboard, composing a song and recording it. I love the fact that it's encouraging kids to, like, focus on actually making music. In 2017, Barbie went back to her roots and brought out a whole line of dolls which was based around Barbie and the Rockers. 
These dolls are kind of infamous because people absolutely hated them in the doll community, and I have to say, I can see why. That These dolls look very clowny. They look like clowns. She's quite a fun concept, but badly executed, I'm afraid. In 2019, Barbie brought out these two dolls. One of them is a rock star, the other is a pop star. You can probably tell which one's which. I'm not a massive fan of the rock star one, although I do like the fact she comes with a couple different outfit pieces. The pop star one is clearly, clearly, clearly inspired by Ariana Grande. And again, I kind of wish Barbie was like making her own music around this time, because I would have been interested to see what a kind of Barbie Ariana Grande song would have sounded like. In 2020, Barbie brought out this pop star, rock star doll. She's kind of giving me Taylor Swift vibes with her guitar and curly hair. Uh, this is obviously around the time Barbie is trying to become more inclusive, so she has the curvy body mold. And we're getting into very recent Barbie doll territory. Only last year, in 2021, Barbie brought out a film called Barbie Big City Big Dreams. I actually watched this with my friend my housemate, and one of the songs we absolutely loved, and we actually play it in our apartment quite often. Um, what was it called? I'm gonna have a look. It was called Good Vibes by Barbie, and we absolutely love this song. We play it in my apartment all the time. I'm not gonna play it here because again, I'm nervous I'll get copyright claimed, but you should go and check out that song, Barbie Good Vibes, great song. And now we have finally made our way to 2022. This is a two-pack Barbie and, like, Shelly doll. Very, very generic-looking pop stars, I would say, um, but they do have the Britney mics, which I absolutely love, and they have their own guitars. I like the Barbie's, like, chunky shoes. Kind of hard to tell what sort of music they play, but knowing Barbie, it would probably be very poppy. So, there we have it, doll fans. I went through every single different pop star or rock star or music star Barbie that has ever existed. Please let me know in the comments which Barbie pop star was your favourite. Also don't forget to check out more of my videos. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye! Mm.